Today we're gonna cook some chanterelle mushrooms. Uh, it's, it's August right now, a lot of times they start in July if you get a lot of hot summer days when you get a bunch of rain afterwards. These chanterelles will pop. A lot of people know morels. I'd say chanterelles are probably the second most picked mushroom around. They're really delicious. They're blaze orange like this. They stand out like sore thumbs when you get into a batch of them. You can see them for a long way. So they're really good summer mushroom to be out when you're out in the timber to, to find, but real easy, real easy to cook. Big one like this, we've cleaned them up. They do catch a little grime and grit on there. Anthony found them on um, an auction, upcoming auction that we have, but I just break them open like this, and I just set them around in the pan. You're gonna need to get them cooked down. There's a lot of moisture in them too, so they kind of, once you get them going, they steam themselves. Fill them up, cook them in butter, finish them with some soy sauce, but we'll fill up the pan real quick here. Turn this baby on. Always have to have my magic ingredient, ingredient butter. And that'll start melting. And again, there's a lot of moisture in there. I've used bacon press on there to kind of press those all down, but what I found is a just a plate that sets down in there. We'll push those all down and let those steam. And once they steam and break down, then they all lay flat and you get a good mushroom to pan surface contact in there to get them all browned up at the end. So we'll just let that cook down for a while. And you'll see, I'll pull it off in a minute and show you the, the water in there, but they all start steaming in their own, in, in their own moisture. All right. So if I pull that plate off right now, you can see that I just put a, you know, a pretty good size amount of butter in there, but that's all the water that's letting out of those mushrooms. So just keep that on there. I've got it rocking on high right now, just because I'm just trying to boil all that water out of them and get those mushrooms broke down a little bit. All right, you can see all that water's gone out of there. Now they're, we have a jocular sizzle in the butter in there. And just cook them, this one's, they're not quite done on that side, but you can, you can see how much water we've cooked out of there. Now we'll just get a pretty good brown on this side. I've also stopped them right here and put them on a cutting board, let them cool down. Cause sometimes I'll go find giant amounts of these things and I can't eat them all, but you can cool them off at this point right now, vacuum seal them, freeze them. And I pulled them out of the freezer. They, they vacuum seal and freeze really well. And you can pull this out of the freezer three years later, put it with a back strap and it's delicious. So they, they last really well in the freezer. But just get them about, you know, a little over halfway cooked, cool them down and then vacuum seal and put them in the freezer. But we are gonna eat these today. So we'll just keep letting these uh, check, make sure they're, they're brown and ready to go. And then I'll finish them off with a little bit of soy sauce in there. And then just turn them all. Get a nice brown on the other side. And again, I love these mushrooms because they come out, you know, I'm not a big time squirrel hunter or whatever. So in the, in the summertime, being able to provide some food for your family off your property in the middle of summer, it's a nice little treat. And the volume of these things, when you do get a nice rain like we've had this year in August, these things are everywhere and there's a lot of them. So you can really get a lot of quantity and put some away in your freezer and everything else for fresh mushrooms later on in the year. Let's go ahead and pull them out. You can, you can get them to where they're a little crispy on the edges and stuff, but some of these smaller ones are done and all seem to be about ready to eat. If you can't be a hunter, be a gatherer.